This is an emergency. With no proven treatment or vaccine, slowing the spread of coronavirus around the world is critical. One of the most important things we can do is social distancing, keeping some physical distance from other people. By staying home and avoiding large groups, we can dramatically lower the rate of infection. This keeps everyone safer and helps ensure our healthcare systems don't get overwhelmed. We all need to do our part to flatten the curve of this epidemic. Health workers on the front lines of this pandemic are also the most exposed to infection. We need to make sure they have the personal protective equipment they need to do their job safely so they can help keep the rest of us safe and healthy too. We need to prioritize the scarce supplies of face masks, gloves and other essential equipment for health workers. This pandemic is especially threatening to people who are already struggling to get basic health care. We're concerned about the safety of refugees and displaced people, including those in Mexico, Greece, Syria, and Bangladesh. Scientists are in a race against time to develop new tools against coronavirus. Once we do have the proven drugs and vaccines we need to end this outbreak, Everyone should have access to them. Drug companies must not use this pandemic as an excuse for more profiteering. Public health needs come first. We've seen health systems completely collapse in the face of an epidemic, like the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. We've never seen a global pandemic on this scale. That's why we're focused on maintaining our life-saving medical projects around the world. People still need access to maternity care, measles vaccines, surgeries for war wounds, and HIV and TB care, just to name a few. We'll keep doing everything we can to respond to coronavirus while providing medical care to the people who need it most.